Hello everyone, it's Cleofa again and welcome to Crafting Shed. Well, I hope everyone is okay as we continue to stay home and stop the spread of COVID-19. Here is something which I hope will ease off some anxieties. For my tutorial today, I'm going to show you how to crochet this V-neck top. This is simple classic design with 3 fourths sleeves. This is made up of two panels that go side by side or left and right and just sew together in the middle to make the piece. Crochet pattern is easy with only two pattern repeats and the design is light in texture so perfect for spring or during summer nights or during the fall. This is the back view of the piece. So basically back and uh, front and back are the same. And now let's get started. For the materials, I use three skeins of Caron Kindness yarn. Three skeins is about 930 yards, and this is size 4 medium weight yarn. And this is in lilac mist color. I used two hooks for this project, size J 6mm crochet hook and a size G 4mm crochet hook. I also needed a pair of scissors, blunt needle, markers, and tape measure. Let's start with a knot and chain 218. So 218 chains, the length would be 26 inches and if you want to increase, please see the text. There is my suggestions to increase the length. So this is now 218 chains. And row 1, single crochet in second chain from hook. So 1, 2, single crochet in this chain. Chain 2, 1, 2, skip 2 chains, so 1, 2, single crochet in the next chain right here. Repeat the pattern, chain 2, 1, 2, skip 2 chains again, 1 and 2, and single crochet in the next chain. Chain 2, repeat. Skip two chains and single crochet in the next chain. Chain two, skip two chains, and single crochet in the next chain. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So to continue the pattern, chain two, skip two chains, one, two, and single crochet in the next chain. Last repeat, chain two, skip two chains, and to end this row, single crochet in the last chain. So this is how to end row one, and this is what row one looks like. Row 2, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, turn, double crochet in the first stitch, in the first single crochet here. Then in the next single crochet, right here, V-stitch. So to V-stitch on the next single crochet, um, double crochet, chain 1, and double crochet in the same stitch. To do the V stitch and this is what it looks like then repeat the pattern in the next stitch in the next single crochet V stitch again so double crochet chain one and double crochet in the same stitch to do the V stitch so just basically V stitch in every single crochet stitch right here so V stitch in this next single crochet Double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the same stitch. V stitch in the next stitch again. So, so repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting out, cutting off the video, and I'll be back towards the end of the row. 
I'm here now towards the end of the row so uh, I just did a V stitch so to continue the pattern V stitch on this next stitch right here this would be the last repeat so double crochet chain one double crochet in the same stitch then to end this row on the last stitch right here we're going to do two double crochets on this stitch so one and Two. So this is how to end row 2 and this is what row 2 looks like. So V stitch, if you can see, in every single crochet. Row 3 chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch right here, chain two, single crochet in the next chain one space. So on the chain one of the V stitch, single crochet on that stitch. Then chain two again, repeat the pattern, chain two, and single crochet in the next chain one space. So basically chain two and single crochet in every chain one space of the V stitch. So chain two again and single crochet in the next chain one space. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row. So just to continue the pattern, chain two from here single crochet in the next chain one space chain two then to end this row single crochet on top of the beginning chain three right here so this is how to end row three and this is what row three looks like Rows 4 to 22, just repeat rows 2 and 3 consecutively. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row 22 to show you the next step. And this is now what the piece looks like after row 22. So at this point, this measures about 52 inches and we're going to fold this. That's why I said in the beginning, this measures about 26 inches in length. And if you want to increase the length, here is my suggestion. So if you uh, start with 230 chains, um, the length would be 27 and a half and so on and so forth. So the width would determine the bust size. So for the width, this measures about nine and a half inches after 22 rows. And if you want to increase the bust size, here is my suggestion. So if you want to increase 24 rows, it will be about 41 inches in bust size. So, so on and so forth. So here is my suggestion. Next step is lay the piece like this with the last stitch at the top right corner where the crochet hook is and then we're going we're going to fold the piece halfway from here from the left to the right like this. Then from the folded side right here on the left this is the folded side measure about uh, seven and a half inches right here then uh, put a marker on that on the chain one space on the v-stitch that's where we put our marker and then do the same step on the other side so find the um, chain one space on the other side so this would be our armhole 
so the two markers would be the beginning and end of our uh, next rows and the next rows will be for the sleeves so I'm going to unfold the piece like this and I'm just gonna pan the video so that you can see the whole piece again like here from left to right so so from the right going to this first marker here we're going to up to the mark to the other marker here that's where we're going to begin and end our next row so from here from our last stitch go to the left and start the row right here and then it will end up to this row to this marker So this is now the piece. So this is the last stitch of the row. Then go to the towards the left and then here is our marker. And then this is what this would be on the chain one space of the V stitch right here. So insert our hook and get a fresh yarn and join then insert yarn over and pull through then start row 23 which is chain one single crochet in the same stitch in the same chain one space chain two and then single crochet in the next chain one space right here repeat the pattern chain two single crochet in the next chain one space chain two, single crochet in the next chain one space. So this is what it looks like. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll see you at the next marker. And I'm here now, I'm uh, about to hit the next marker. So that's where we're going to stop uh, on the marker. So to continue, chain two, single crochet in the next chain one space. Then to end this row, chain two, and then single crochet in the uh, space where the marker is. And we're going to stop this row here. So this is what row 23 looks like. Row 24, chain three, one, two, three, turn. Double crochet in the first stitch right here. So double crochet in this stitch. Then on the next single crochet right here, we're going to do the our V stitch, which is double crochet, chain one, and double crochet in the same stitch. This is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern, V stitch in the next single crochet right here. So double crochet, chain one and double crochet so repeat the pattern v stitch in every single crochet so in this next single crochet v stitch again so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row and i'm here now towards the end of the row so on the next single crochet here v stitch on that stitch so this is our last V stitch. Then to end this row, on the last stitch right here, so we hit the marker on this last stitch here, two double crochets to end row 24. So one and two. So this is how to end row 24, and this is what row 24 looks like. Row 25, chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch right here so first stitch then chain two single crochet in the or first chain one space on the v stitch repeat the pattern chain two and single crochet in the next chain one space this is what it looks like repeat chain two and single crochet in the next chain one space so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row 
and I'm here now towards the end of the row so to continue chain two single crochet in the next chain one space chain two then to end this row just single crochet on top of the beginning chain three right here so this is how to end row 25 and this is what row 25 looks like so we're beginning to crochet for the sleeves rows 26 to 38 repeat rows 24 and 25 consecutively so we are now con uh, crocheting the rows for the sleeves so i'm going to continue my work i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back when i'm done with row 38 and this is now what the piece looks like after row 38 and these are the rows that we just did so for the sleeves it measures about 14 and a half inches this is my measurement around my arm and if you want to adjust the measurement for your project if you want to increase it so i would suggest to move or to increase the number of rows so if you move one uh, space one V stitch right here it would increase one inch and if you move one inch one uh, V stitch here uh, one inch also so it, so one V stitch adjustments on each side would increase it by two inches and for the length of the sleeves this is about seven inches so if you want to increase make it really long sleeves then you can continue with the row keep adding more rows next lay the piece right side facing up like this and then fold the piece halfway from here left and fold it like this and it would look like this and this would be our first panel so we're going to need another panel for the left side so uh, do another panel of exactly the same pattern and here are now my two panels of exactly the same pattern for left and right. So lay the two panels like this next to each other. And this would be wrong side facing out. Then um, move it closer. Then here from the top measure about 9 inches. So from the top measure about 9 inches and put a marker on both edges then do the same step at the back side so measure about also uh, nine inches and put a marker on the back side then this would be our neck opening right here this way this v-neck right here then from the marker all the way down we're going to sew the edges together to close the front side right here these two edges sew them together and do the same step at the back so from the marker sew the edges together also to close the back and we are also going to close these uh, edges here under the arm and then the sides sew them together close them and do the same step on the other side also so from here on the under the arm sew them together and the sides all the way down and this is now what the piece looks like after the two panels are sewn together so for my neck opening i adjusted it to seven inches so here so at seven inch mark that's where i started to close the back and front sides so i use whip stitch to close them together or to sew them together all the way down and i had a little slit on the sides right here so also whip stitch on the sides to close the sides together and also right here next here in the neck opening i'm going to crochet one row of single crochet just to give it a clean finish then i'm going to crochet cuffs for the armhole this is now the armhole where i'm going to crochet a cuff so this is where i'm going to use size g crochet hook uh, for the cuffs so i'm start here 
and uh, join a fresh yarn and insert the hook on that stitch and start our round one so yarn over pull through chain one single crochet in the same stitch single crochet in the next stitch then skip the chain one space this one skip this one and single crochet in the next two stitches starting here so one and two then repeat skip the next chain one space so basically the chain one of the v stitch we're going to skip this one and then uh, single crochet in the next two stitches skip the next chain one space skip this one and single crochet in the next two stitches skip the next chain one space and single crochet in the next two stitches so repeat this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round and here towards the end of the round just continue single crochet skip and single crochet in the next two stitches one and two then to join this round just slip stitch in the first um single crochet right here so slip stitch to join the first round so this is how to end round one and this is what round one looks like which is now decreased the round is now decreased round two i'm going to decrease it again so round two chain two one two double crochet in the first stitch right here then decrease dc two together stitch in the next two stitches so to do that stitch yarn over insert in the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops yarn over insert in the next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops now there are three loops in the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops and we just did the dc two together stitch then double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and this is what it looks like repeat the pattern double crochet together double dc2 together again in the next two stitches so this one dc2 tog and then double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and this is what it looks like repeat the pattern dc2 together again in the next two stitches and double crochet in the next three stitches one two and three so repeat this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round i'm here now towards the end of the round so to continue dc two together stitch in the next two stitches so here two dc two together stitch then double crochet in the next two stitches or the last two stitches then to join the round slip stitch in the beginning in the first double crochet right here so slip stitch to join the round so this is how to end round two and this is what round two looks like for the cuff now the round is now decreased round three chain two double crochet in the first stitch double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch around so simple uh, round three just double crochet in each stitch around so repeat this pattern around i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the round and i'm here now towards the end of the round just continue double crochet in the uh, next stitch one more one in the next stitch and then one more stitch right here and then to join the round slip stitch again in the beginning in the first double crochet right here so this is how to end round three and this is what round three looks like rounds four to six just repeat round three so just continue the double crochet in each stitch around up to round six and this is now what my piece looks like after round six so if you want to 
uh, adjust the size you can continue adding more rounds and do the same step for the other armhole so this is what the ar other armhole looks like and here the neck uh, I crocheted one row of single crochet right here around the neck to give it a clean finish and we're done so clean up the tails weave the ends and we're done and this is now what the piece looks like all clean up and all done For the bust size, this measures about 19 inches or 38 inch bust size and the arms is about 19 inches from the shoulders and the length from the shoulder down is about 26 inches. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.